Welcome back. In this video, we're going to explore selecting envelope generators on the Coric NTS-1. For this demonstration, we're using a triangular waveform, which you can hear as follows. In order to select an envelope, we press the EG button. We can see that the EG button is active since the LED above it is illuminated. To choose an envelope, we use the type selector knob. The first envelope we encounter is attack decay sustain release. Next is attack hold release. Then we have attack release, an attack release loop, and finally an open envelope. While the EG button is active, the A knob controls the attack parameter, which sets the time required for the envelope to reach its maximum level once a note is played. The B knob controls the release parameter, which sets the time required for the envelope to reach zero once a note has ended. In the case of ADSR and AHR, the sustain and hold parameters are controlled by the keyboard or controller, in that the note will be sustained or held so long as the note is on. Envelopes have a tremolo effect, which can be applied using the secondary parameter controls. Holding down the EG button allows us to affect the tremolo rate via the A knob and the tremolo depth via the B knob. So let's try an example with the ADSR envelope. So that is with minimum attack and minimum release, just a clean note. If we set attack to maximum, we can hear the volume gliding up to its maximum. If we set the attack to min and the release to max, we can hear it takes a while for the note to, to uh, fade to zero. And now if we set bolt to max, Now if I set the tremolo to its maximum value and the depth to zero, can't hear the tremolo yet, but if I increase the depth, say midway, it's much more apparent. And it's gonna reduce the frequency. Okay, let's try attack hold release. So setting the attack and release parameters to min, I'm going to bring the tremolo to zero and the depth to zero. Just a clean note in both cases where the attack and release are at minimum. Now setting the attack to max. Setting attack to min and release to max. And setting both the attack and release to max. Now I'm going to set the frequency of the tremolo to about 10, thereabouts. And I'm gonna set the depth midway. set attack and release to minimum and set the frequency and depth of the tremolo back to min as well. So that's the attack hold release envelope. Now this is the attack release envelope. Okay, so both attack and release are at min. Can't hear anything there at the moment. I'm gonna set attack to max. Setting attack to min and release to max. and setting bolt to max. Now I'm gonna set the 
frequency again to about just around 10 or so, 12.5, and the depth to about 50, 56. You can see even while I have the key depressed, because the release is set um, to max, it fades away even while I have the key depressed. Okay, so setting the frequency and depth of the tremolo back to zero and the attack and release back to zero. So that's the attack release envelope. Now this is the attack release loop, which is the exact same as the AR envelope, except for um, when we play a note, it's played continuously in a loop thereafter. So again, So I have the attack and the release set about halfway. And now I'm going to increase the tremolo. So setting the frequency of the A knob and the depth with the B knob. Now I'm resetting to zero. And that is the open envelope. We have no control over any cutoff, or sorry, any attack or release, since it's an open note. But we can use the tremolo effect. And that is how you load envelope generators on the Coric NTS-1.